I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Welcome. Welcome to the Kani stream. Uh, the draw. Do nothing turn one. Do nothing turn two. Because casting Anointed Peacekeeper is like nothing and I will get wasteland that. I can hit Saga. Let's say it's a keep. Mmm, leftover pizza from yesterday for breakfast. So slow, yeah, but we are playing in the vexing bubble format, so it's kind of slow by design. I think I don't pay life, although it's kind of tricky because if my opponent plays a monster, then it makes sense to Pitch two cards to Mars, something maybe. Mana Voluta. Any Goblin Welder. Hey, Trini Sphere. Curious. I think I'll have to name Strip Mine. Just watch Knives Out at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. movie watching. Saga was an insane draw for them. I think I watched it and enjoyed it a little bit. Saga absolutely brutal. I mean, I only need to spend three mana, right? This is this is a Trini Sphere. No, no way around it. I mean, Will cannot use Saga to make constructs. It's actually not too bad. I play Cavern and March. What is my favorite vintage deck right now? It's Mono White Initiative, but I also am just playing my first vintage match since MH3, which I think with the Vexing Bobo had a pretty major impact. So. Yeah. Could maybe also play Peacekeeper and name Goblin Welder. That's more pressure. I could play an Archon of Emeria. It's honestly not clear that I should march. Because the land dies anyways. I'll probably get something scary. Like a Black Lotus that kind of unlocks them with the Welder. Let's hit the Saga. So chat, when pizza was originally discovered, or rather created, how was one supposed to eat it? With your hands? Not with utensils, probably with hands, because it was a... Regular food. Pizza shall not be consumed cold or as a leftover pizza guy or girl inverter. Wow, so just food wasting? Instead of eating it, not eat it at all? Because it's leftover? That's a bullshit rule. Villain can eat the sack, vault get bubble, and then sack bubble get vault to get a lot of mana. I'm eating breakfast leftover pizza from yesterday.
He's a phenomenal control player. Smile. Choose a non land permanent that player controls. Destroy one of them chosen at random. Random from amongst a single creature. Nice design. I guess I'll play Season Dungeon here. I don't think I achieved much by playing anything else. This way I can ramp and play my Chancellor. No, I guess I can just sacrifice it to kill everything. Holy shit. After I take my initiative, so I actually am screwed. I can beat them. The Filer. Another tournament, what would you play? I would play Amulet Titan. But I'll. S it's because Amulet Titan is based and. Not for any other reason. Also, would need to get the new builds out of my system. And also, I would like to try Lumra in there. Lumra not available on Magic Online until Tuesday. So, I'll play Titan in a challenge today, but probably I will not. Because with no Lumra, kind of doesn't feel quite the same, right? <clears throat> yes, no Shiron Tor anymore is no the goof no no I'm I'm just losing to this so badly to the defiler. Paul is playing a Saga Trinkets Goblins deck, so Rough of the Sky seems good, Source of the Plowshare seems good. I know that Peacekeeper seems whatever. Vexing Bubble seems pretty bad. They are a Vexing Bubble deck too. They probably play many. It doesn't seem like it affects them too much. This is not a Force of Will deck. There is an argument for keeping Vexing Bubble on the play, but I think a unsatisfying one. You could play Null Rod and you could cut Anointed Peacekeeper for being overall a bit shit or Chancellor of the Annex for not being the best against what could be, still could be an Ancient Tube deck. They are playing <coughs> Trini Sphere, so I wouldn't be surprised if Nullrod happens and I'll just have more removal and the uh, initiative monsters and Nullrods, yep. So the schedule for today is to play this Vintage Challenge. It is to win a box, well, two boxes of Outlaws of Thunder Junction play boosters in my MTG Arena thing, we need to go 3-1 or better from this spot to do so. And my seal deck is okay. Maybe I should board out like a Chrome Mox or do something like that, but I guess I'm keeping this right now. What's better, Witch Enchanter or Sword to Plushers? I think Witch Enchanter being a creature is better. <coughs> And then the schedule contains the box sealed tournament later, I think. Unless you make me mad and I play it off stream chat. So behave. Three instances of Bantok, unprompted Bantok, and I do not stream that tournament. So those are the stakes today. Understood. Nadu is not exempt from Bantok. In fact, Nadu is specifically not exempt. 
So we're gonna go to the forge. Seems like after all those months, forge is still vastly better than the other route. And you're gonna play witch and chandra, so my opponent cannot steal the initiative. And you're gonna kill them in two attacks. Mana crypt into free mana. What is white for? Wow, magmatic channeler. Not something that I expected to see, but. Fair, do they have incense and sorcery? It's probably just as a discard outlet. I wonder if there's even four incense and sorceries in their deck. Bridge of Khazad Doom. Holy guacamole. <clears throat> so Golding does nothing, so we're gonna go to Trap. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the villain. Anointed Peacekeeper seems not very good, generally speaking. Holy fuck! I guess this only reanimates small artifacts, right? Yeah. Oof. Thing I'll name Goblin Engineer. So you have to spend three mana. Doesn't really matter. Maybe it's actually better to name Magmatic Channeler because they are more likely to use it twice. I think so. Plenty of removal. Not all removal works against Goblin Engineer, but most does. Opponent wins the flip like an absolute luck sack. Pretty good, pretty good, but no worries. I draw a card from archives, I draw a card from my just step next turn, so we have two looks. I have four STP, which doesn't do all that much, but I guess helps stall the game. And if the game stalls, yes, my opponent has a brigade of Khazad Doom, but I have... Oh! Wait, it just cast the monster. Somehow I didn't think you could have enough mana, but then you don't get the brigade. So is it even good? What do you do? You kill my 5-5? Five five? I guess a 5-4 Trampler is pretty good against the initiative, so... Honestly, I... Understand that play. I guess they, they did draw a cavern, right? They didn't have the cavern, so... That's why I process this as a blank. Turns out they do have black sources. It named construct and not demon, which is curious, but also probably meaningless. Hmm. Dual Commander League. They killed my guy. I draw, march, and wrath of the skies. I can wrath x7, gain 5 energy, sweep everything. Uh, the next turn I just throw on the dead free. Could also march the defiler. Attack with the peacekeeper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana, so I play cavern on probably human. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I bought out the Pyrexian Angel, right? Chancellor, I did. That exiles the Defiler, which is good. And then my opponent has this in play. Hmm. And we have Rough Disguise. We have the Throne of the Dead. 
Three trigger and then we can rough afterwards. Rough next turn for bridge seems like an okay plan. The problem is that if I rough next turn for bridge, that also kills off all of my creatures that can attack, but... I like the shape of it for the most part too. And it forces a charm block <clears throat> from the channel there. Maybe they lose life of mana crypt. But most importantly, we just likely gonna get a four drop. It's in the flip thing, a four drop. Oh yeah, this is a four drop, that's true. I somehow I read it as a two drop because it's a two two, but actually the the plan is perfect and flawless. Great point. Alp MPG, thank you for saving me from myself this game. Energy and vintage for what it's worth. Oh yeah, yeah, no planes, loss of value. Okay, our point concedes the game, so that's good. Now, do we want Chancellor on the draw, perhaps? I think another Peacekeeper is maybe not the greatest. I'm not sure about Null Rod. Because the key cards in my opponent's deck... I think Null Rod actually looks kind of bad. And actually I have a lot of removal. Like I can kind of play the control deck. With card advantage in the form of this. Archon of Emeria seems actually not very good against the villain. They could Vexing Bubble me. Because I do have 11 cards that cost 0. If you think about it this way. But... Double Planes, my White Plume Adventurer is useless. I think I can keep. And move against to five. Nice control hand. Yeah. We have a removal spell, then we have a threat. And a second threat. Classic control gameplay. Well, I guess we have two interaction cards. When they move to five, this is gonna be hurting them more. Well, not really. If they play like a Moxer in one land box, then it still doesn't really do anything, but slows them down a bit, which I will appreciate. Just too bad that I drew Devil Planes. Oh, that's nice. That's something I can hit with my Saga, with my March. Yeah, March, yeah, March, yeah, March. The Discovery of March for Mono White, pretty good, I think. Pretty good interaction spell, much better than the Solitudes that used to <clears throat> be played in those decks all the time. And stuff like that, and main exorcist blowshares, just this interacting with Saga, or just Artifact Mana, means it's a pretty good card overall. Crucible of Worlds. How do we want to use that? Pay Strip Mine? The Saga is exiled. 
strip mine would be kind of devastating with my both of my planes being drawn and white plume not grabbing me an extra planes tabernacle I mean I'll pay nice tech building thank you very scry 2 is better can also make it treasure token a turn from now is this, a, is this threatening? I don't think so I think drawing mana is much better this is also a better draw nice tech building, no dziękuję Xeruva dzięki Max can kill their mocks tabernacle a little bit of an odd choice wasteland nice gold time no i'll just make it treasure and play a creature i think i'm saving the march Nothing seems important to kill. Never gold. Our alerts broken. He's a phenomenal control player. No, I just need to actually This is a test. They can activate the engineer to stop the gold. That's true, but not actually clear that they would have wanted to. He's a phenomenal control player. Seems pretty not broken to me. Which blessed meadow? This blessed meadow. Ha 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 The joke was designed uh, for your pleasure by Wizards of the Coast. LLC? I don't know what their legal status. Alright, we have defeated Monored. Monored White Goblin Engineer. Chaos Defiler? Question mark. Dot com. Playing Lurus. My hand misses mana. So take free, reveal this. Point plays a mox. Dobra, Goka is nice and potent, but it's a bit too much for now. Can't cast this, can't cast this. If Wasteland can't cast anything, with Vexing Bubble, I can't cast anything, can hit Saga. That's about all I can do. I think this should be Mulligant. This is looking better, but not much. What if I put back the Peacekeeper, honestly? This way I can use Witch Enchanter both as a white land for March or just play Witch Enchanter, skill lands, and by lands I mean Moxen. Play this first, I can't really get around getting this spell pierced. Yep. Okay, we destroy the cock ring. Oh, yeah. Play lands, then cast brainstorm. So draw last, basically. Order lul, in other words. Psychic frog, how am I supposed to beat that? Holy shit. It's like way better than my entire deck.
keeps flying. I think I'm kind of fucked. I can beat the frog easily now. Maybe that's the way. Probably shouldn't attack. Blocking with the Witch Enchanter or, or even Devil blocking is it sounds viable. Also villain might just bowman and then <clears throat> for sure I would like to block Urza's saga. Oh, feed the swarm. What a card. No baum, yeah. Yeah, I got absolutely owned by Frogger's. <clears throat> Should have Source Plushes in my deck over the Cancelor, just in general. Maybe. Legacy Vintage Modern, Frog, well put. Nurot seems pretty bad against my opponent. <clears throat> so it's a question of Wrath of the Skies. It seems nice to be able to come back sometimes. Vexing Bubble on the play seems quite good to have. Peacekeeper matches up pretty okay against Frog too. I'll put the Sweepers in my deck on the draw. Trimming the Bubbles, but on the play I think the Bubble is too good. Can play a turn one Archon. Sure. But I'll just force a wield my Mox Pearl. Waste my Caracas. Puts me on no white mana. That is an issue. No, yeah, I yes, should play. A shit ton of mana themselves. Giga punished. Well, no way not to get punished by just force of will on Pearl, but... I think I need to cycle the... Bobble. Okay, we've got white mana. Totalitarian Academy. Play Frogster. No zajebiście generalnie. Gra Blurito. Wasteland. That force worked out pretty good for them. Yeah. Crucial force. <coughs> now I'm playing from behind the entire life. I think Archon. Sounds much better than wasting. If I waste, I never win. If I draw planes, I can. Dobra, I'm chuja mogę, no. Nie ma co udawać. Feed the Swarm. I guess Feed the Swarm is a saga tech. Kill Saga, that's why it's played. I like Feed the Swarm for the one main deck spot removal. Okay, strip mine. Wow, kill my cavern. I guess that's a good choice. Soldering is a change I made from the previous lists of this deck. The net decks often play a single Lotus Petal. A Lotus Petal would, I guess, arguably be better. I guess I would Lotus Petal kill the frog with March. 
then waste this and we are kind of even. But I will die anyway, so nothing ever matters. Hi. <sighs> well, one, two, three, four, five. Only need two more mana for the Chancellors. It's probably stupid to keep it, but this seems perhaps not the worst against Doomsday. Actually, Chancellor and Bob will have pretty low synergy. You play smokes and just let it be countered. Meng was praising you in one of his videos that you are uh, focused on actually playing and improving instead of being negative and calling for bonds all the time. Fair. Not even being negative, just that calling for bonds is less interesting to me than playing. <clears throat> And the discussion is just all so all consuming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Missing another white. Also, would need to suck the bubble. So now I'll play the planes and pass. We'll see next turn. Point shuffle with ponder. Mirror side. Recall. Okay, total recall. Miss land drop, so I guess I would want to keep the bubble in play. If possible. Yeah, this should be enough to win the game. I think I can tap Wasteland, like I can really imagine how it punishes me. Seems like he's on Doomsday. Not on anything else, so. It seems pretty hard to come back without three spells, and the Vexing Bubble prevents that. So yeah, call, cast all the cantrips you want, my friend. <clears throat> but to come back to the previous point, Mengu is just... seems... maniacally... focused on not being negative, that's his prerogative. Not to be negative online. Which is a quest you can have but I'm not sure if like I wouldn't say that that is also my motivation my motivation is to do stuff that I enjoy and I do not enjoy Bantok and how overpowering it is that said it is pretty it does like the older of the Nadu situation the pan announcement in a month it is pretty tiring and makes it hard to have great, a great big level of motivation when it comes to playing modern. It's all kind of a giant bummer. Close to hardcasting Chancellor. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana next turn, so I can hardcast it, but I'll keep the bubble in hand in play. Seems more valuable. If I draw a cavern, I can just play a Chancellor, why not? <clears throat> Underground Z, Dark Ritual. Oh, cool, that doomsday us. But how? What you gonna do, bro? Oh, I'm gonna have to infer the deck now. Kind of annoying. But let's go Vintage, Doomsday. Discovering last deck from yesterday, and let's ready up. Let's be ready for some inferring. Because if my opponent will have no force of will in hand, then cycling the bubble in order to summon the chancellor might be the move.
Ray of Enfeeblement, what a card. Oh, can't you see draw? Question mark. Can't you see draw? Doomsday lets you search for five cards from amongst your library and your graveyard. Then you exile the rest. Then you put the chosen five into your deck. We don't know what the chosen five are. See draw before a crocking bobble. Yeah. Probably they will just pass. Well, assuredly my opponent will just pass because they can't do anything with a vexing bobble. I can draw. Yes. Can we explore with this? Look for Cavern of Souls. Not that Cavern actually changes anything. So 17 brings you down to minus 9. So go to 8. You take 4. 5, 6. You go to 2. I don't know what's the plan to win. Is there maybe a bounce spell? The bubble. See a sabotage, main deck, something like that. Time walk. It's probably the card. Initiative creature would be pretty good, I agree. Alabra, not to inferring. Those are exiled. Street Rave, Street Rave, Street Rave. So there is one Street Rave. For some reason. Street Rave. Let's check for Force of Will. Force, Force, Force. A four Rives in exile. Holy shit. Why can't I sort it? Iron Dva, Tri. What is the fourth one? Four, okay. One, two, three, force of will. So, get action probe is not there. <sighs> Gash was pitched, yep. Oracle, Oracle. Now let's check for lands. So, time walk is not there, right? One C. You see, you see. So you have 7 out of 10 cards. Let's count the fetches. Black Lotus is, is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fetches. Yet, answer to repeat, I should have ocean fetches in the deck. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. All Dark Rituals are there. Demonic Consultation is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So maybe check for cards that could be in the hand. Ponders are all there. Thank you for the raid. Unzd. No dress on Excel. Was there a dress on his list? Did I always say dress down? One, two. Doomsday, yeah. Oh, let's check pre order. One, two, three, four. No pre order. So we have nine out of ten cards. Cruz, Dick. Is Dick through time somewhere? Okay, so we have the hand and deck. Force of Will, Gitaxian Probe, Oracle, Oracle, Time Walk, UC, UC, Dress Down, Doomsday, Dick through time. Match on scroll was not on the list, yeah. I mean, I don't... 
I don't know, bro. Go to the forge. No street trade in the pile, no. March of other while you write. Go to my graveyard. Okay, so you have five cards, you go to four, time walk. You can see hard casting Chancellor and Wastelanding them. Well, I can't see that because that's not a line that's available. So if I waste, goes UC, time walk, four cards, then UC, land, country, oracle, that would be git accent probe. So from what we've seen, there is no use in keeping the bubble. Ooh, that's doesn't matter, but I guess it does let me do all both the things. Yeah, I guess I can click both my cards now, but the villain does the things we suspect and it also leaves me dead. Does this get forced? No, no force on this. Okay, awesome. That should be safe then. Good line, I see Wolf. You just foresaw what's gonna happen. So you just put get the force in his pile because I guess to Throw me off because it didn't matter what the last card was. You need to have a UC or time walk in hand to begin constructing the spire. Oh well. So I don't really have anything that I want against Doomsday. Not that March is particularly good either. Can hit a stray mock, so that's about it. Can have STP. Guess the Joel Dread. Probably doesn't even come in. Let's keep too much. I guess that's an out to Joel Dread too if needed. I probably was actually supposed to. Hands, I guess I'll keep. Uh, well, I let's keep. I guess I was probably supposed to cycle the vexing bubble EOT last game. Maybe, maybe I was also supposed to go to the Sky Tuke area. Would make a make it so that an initiative creature is not an out, but Archon or Peacekeeper would be Villain Cycling. This is also a Joldred answer for what it's worth. Wow. Doomsday seems fairly weak against Vexing Bubble. Mind Rake Trap. No, wiadomo, że Discovery nie wypierdoli w każdą możliwą konfigurację, ale. No, nie, że im pokazał. Dał mi Bobu.
I cast Doomsday. Okay. Alright, if I play a blank, I'm not gonna live next turn, so... Null rot. Perfect, this game. More or less. Hmm. Tempting. I'm going to draw Mox and proceed to draw Moxen for the rest of the game. Although, if I draw a Soul Ring, that would be pretty good now. You see. When performing the Vexing Bob will chancel our trick. Dark Ritual Link. Bro, this guy is just casting a hacking doomsday on me. Turn one. No issue. Yeah, Pierre Dolan, yes, this is a tip then. Discover and so we're gonna have to infer again after sideboarding inferring a bit harder but if we remove if we remove all force of wills we can cycle the bottle in search of mana any modern later probably not i'll play the 4 pm modern horizons uh mox open Strip mine his land against Edge of Autumn. That is not a card they play in Doomsday. I think that's a legacy card, but it's not present in the vintage lists. And I need my strip mine mana to cycle my bubble end of turn. If I decide that I want to do that. Well, well. Force of will, force of will, force of will. There is a single force of will present. No, there is a fourth one. Yet and what should there is. So we should cycle Lotus, Sapphire, Jet, all in the graveyard. So we cycle freely. I. <sighs> How to cycle caverna? Nice. Mindbreak trap, check. Trap, trap. He's not gonna have free triple trap. Co robi Jacek Franceski w chwytakiem piosence? To jest prosta, śpiewa. So, like, figuring out the exact cards is a bit rough, because I don't know them. I don't know the sideboard strats. There's no dark ritual. There's no gash, I don't know what that is. Push. It seems like a removal pile. Underground Sea. So there's two Underground Seas. One Oracle. He's a phenomenal control player. The removal, or maybe even two. Let her be in square. 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 They might Let not have square. the extra mana to cast Oracle. Let her be in square. But Let her be not, in not square. mine. Let her be in square. 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 Let it be in square, 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 
letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square, letter B in square. Let it be in square, 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 let it be in square. Let it be in square, yeah, so let it be in square, 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 let it be in square. Let it be in square, 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 let it be in square. There's one let oracle in square. Exile, so in there's square. one oracle let in the exile, exile almost like let it be in, in the square. deck. Let it be in square. 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 He's a phenomenal control player. My creature, but if let like ancestrals, I then he doesn't have that. the mana to kill my creature. Because the land is gonna enter topped. Her ancestral. Fetch and fail to find. Yeah, but fetch is tapped. Villain's last list also had Ray of Enfeeblement, which kills either of my creatures for zero mana. For one mana with no revolt. But then also the wasteland is gonna ruin everything. So I fail to see the way out of that, but I'm ready to be surprised. Just remember to strip in the wrap, keep to play around push. That actually doesn't play around push at all. The land is gonna be tapped, so I'll play around push by stripping when it's tapped. Assuming villain casts Ancestral. I guess maybe they don't cast Ancestral, but... Like, by strip in the upkeep, that in general doesn't play well around... Push, right? Is Ray better than Deathmark in this meta? It's an instant. Seems better. But I spent roughly zero minutes on... On that. You missed the fact that the lands are tapped because of Arc of Emeria. If I do it in their upkeep, they also float and push. If the push is already in their hand, that is assuming my vil villain goes ancestral play underground C. Did villain exile sapphire? Yes, sapphire was gone. It's right here. Did we infer the pile? You see, you see removal, oracle, and what? I think it's the island. Because those, this was the hand, so it was UC, Island, Removal, Oracle. Yes, Villain exiled the uh, zero costs as I had the bubble, which let me cycle the bubble. Lotus Exile looks sus. Well, it's because I had a card that counters Lotus, and I see that the Lotus is in there, so I keep my bubble otherwise. Instead, I cycled it and drew my own Lotus, which...
This is Stellan 2, by the way. This is Villain Stellan 2. I also played two Terrans of this game. Doesn't quite look like it, I guess. Two Doomsdays in exile, one in the art. He wants to repile. No, Villain just had a double Doomsday in their hand. So I guess I have to play the adventurer now because I lost three damage. I need to deal. Holy shit, I am actually losing now. Unless I draw something. An initiative monster. Let's go. Okay, my villain never wanted to repile, they just wanted to do this. Are we? Well, like over that over two turns, currently if I draw nothing, villain is winning. That's what I mean, right? I deal seven and they live at one play Oracle. But I get to untap my Archon, so that's nice. It seems like there is was still push in their pile, likely. Which also could be an issue, but not really. I really lost Welling. We'll see. Let's see what the opponent does, and then we're gonna consider that in the upkeep. Forging means that drawing an initiative monster wins. Villain scoops. I guess at this point they can't cast Ancestral to draw. So the Oracle was too deep. I guess we hadn't lost well. I yeah, kind of. I guess they figured that no matter what I do, they they die. What a hand! Is initiative good again? I think the bubble look makes it. Much better. Before bubble, they was kind of shit. And the bubble kind of equalizes your opponent to your shit level and you get to play. What food was that? It was a small... What was the answer? Tar... Tartalet? Uh, is that a word? Oh, cool, vale. No, no, bro. Exile time will get misstep to double force my chrome fucking mox. I mean, I guess that's it out to mana screw me. Let's name Vladestrand. Not just Deathrite Shaman. I think Vladestrand is more funny. Also, chat, prepare. Next upkeep, we are flipping mana crypt. Heads or tails? <clears throat> you choose. Tails for Olsen. You lost the flip. See you in 10 minutes. This one is gonna name Death Right Shaman. Oh, no more flips. Tails never fails. You sure about it? Seems like a deck against whom vexing bubble is not too great. No, they had all the forces and similar. It's got Chancellor because it seems like a little bit of a grindy matchup. Wrath of the Skies and STP come in. This is kind of a grindier matchup. I wonder if I want to trim a Chrome Mox. 
than one vexing bubble maybe. You die a raider. Hello raider. Welcome to the stream. Let's keep it a grindy matchup. Ah, oh, my flesh holds no secrets, monster. Psychic Frogger. Not good. Have to kill the Frogger. Oh, but I'm playing from behind now. Larian revealed. Drop Island. What's next? A Tarmogoyf? Life from the low on strand. Holy guacamole. Don't want to destroy their mana. Wonder with an Uro deck too. Lurus deck. Of course. Wasteland dismember alias them. Ay ay ay. The ban alias them. The only reasonable card to name is Dismember. Can't wait for the Monty Python Dismember. Probably will not be on Magic Online anyway, so... Well, I played a new Art Karn. I don't know if I will, will be playing many great content creator decks, but... If I will, then... Maybe. Half of the Skies gives me some play against what my opponent is doing here. Play piss, keep air. This one's gonna name a push. I think. If I draw an initiative monster, I'm in a pretty good spot too, I think. No. Killed it. Okay. Maybe not in a great spot. Maybe that's a bit un untrue. But I guess I can rough X2. That's not nothing. So what's their hand? It's Lurus Loam, right? Okay, sounds fair. Psychic Frog, a multi-format all-star. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, they exile their fetch. I need to draw an initiative monster before they draw a green source, basically. Then you can replay the mocks. No reason to waste that, and I would rather keep my mana so I can cast my march on the Lurus or cast the Zark on the Pomeria. 
Uh, but I have four drops in my deck too, so. That was a really good draft of the skies. Really impressive. Well, second one maybe not so much, but if my opponent tries to loan back the saga, then it's useful. But now we can keep the fetch and fetch a waste a fetch land. If they play one. Or fetch this kill the saga. I should play it so I can cast my four drops. Upkeep, kill the saga. <laughs> Villain not three life points, so now Loam is not even scary. Guess it just kills them. White Plume Adventure, really good. Is Raph better than a Wasteland? Question mark. Oh, Raph the Saga. I could have done that. Should I keep this? Let's say I should. Preorden. Preorden means Doomsday, right? Or high likelihood of Doomsday. Street Rave means Doomsday. Black Lotus means Doomsday. Mox Shed means Doomsday. Inconvenient. But there probably wasn't a doomsday. So now I have the Archon. Would have preferred to have drawn a spell rather than a planes, but let's see. Also, bros, I had a thought yesterday. Is the ponder the only the fish ponder? Is that the only magic card that displays a nipple and does it, or am I just imagining things? Is it just that just a shell? Because I see it clearly. Maybe it's just shade. Titty tag on scryfall. Tag nipple. Vampirism has full female nudity. If you look closely enough, then I will not on Twitch because they'll ban me. Yes. I summon seasoned engineer. <laughs> what are, what are they seasoned with? Pepper, salt, garlic, paprika, thyme, oregano, garam masala, cumin, cam. No, they come on seasoning in Poland. All right, Echo Baron, and what you gonna do? If you Doomsday, you die. You take three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, and you only have six. Watch out for saying stuff like coming for America. People go to prison for that these days. Oh no, you just tricked me. I'll go to prison now. Why did you do that? As long as I don't say that to a 13 year old, I'll be fine. Any 13 year olds in the chat? There's no white mana, which is a bit of an issue, but I believe. 
transfer on the draw looks good and my first draw sub is gonna be mox chrome mox nipple tag hmm I should have specified female nipple We drew solo ring. I'm glad to see that first. Gives me more hours to draw white mana. Do, 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 do. No, he drew a scowling turn. Should I cycle or not? I think I shouldn't. Maybe I should. I think I will cycle. Actually, I changed my mind. See, that's why. Cycle EOT. The upside of cycling now is that I get to cast my monster. Yak Pivo Buzu, yeah. Was villain to spend Ray. Talara's Battalion Holy shit That's crazy Although also pretty ambiguous in a way, but Chancellor seems quite good against my opponent's hand. Am I still playing Amulet, Titan and Modern? And did I see Dom's Lotus Field list? I did. I haven't played Titan since MH3. I will play Titan after the new set releases. I have a list that I prepared. If you win, we are in. If we lose, we are out. All comes to and end right now, perhaps, maybe. We're up against Lurus. Play turn one bubble. Oh, cool, valid deck. This is a deck my opponent played the last time. July 25th. Tamio, Questing Druid, Malamorphos, Flame of Anor. <laughs> Alec Dechivo. Unlucky Monkey is always on this. I don't think my hands beats that. This beats that a bit better. Oh no, Chancellor Cantert. Whoa, Luru's deck. Oh, Luru 
Bones of the Dream then. So let's start through my Chancellor, no less. I think the odds of using my Chancellor are pretty slim. Name Human. I have more Humans in my deck. With the Witch now. Portable Hall. Mana Crypt. Force of Will. Portable Hall. Punish for deploying my Chrome Mox. I probably could have held it, right? Name Lurus. Yeah, we hit the Moxopal. They have the third artifact in hand for uh, for extra mana, anyways. Villain can play Mana Crypt and play Lurus. Then I can hit the Lurus with March. Then they are under the mana crypt clock. Not anymore. P hole. Maybe hit my mana crypt, huh? Buddy, please. Yeah, I guess they need to fetch to get Lurus to there. Wow. Passing this. Kind of wild. Villain lost a flip. Wasteland. I need some mana. I, mean, I guess you force the mocks because I have a cavern fair. The Lurus currently doesn't do anything, so we're just top decking. So chat, mana crypt flip. Are you ready to call it? You want a flip? Thank you, John Julia. We tried that. Okay. I'll just play my planes. So maybe villain will lose seven times before drawing anything. They lost. Drop. All right, chat. Again, new flip. Baba Lumbi says tails. Do you want a flip? Thank you. Is exposing planes to strip mine worth it? Perhaps not. Villain lost the flip, what a noob. Draws a Moxopal. Alright, new flip. Tales from Mons21. Thank you, bros, you're on fire. Keeping the wastelands, they have all the colors and all the mana, no reason to kill it. Lost a flip again, seven life already. Mox Ruby. Alright, chat. Your move. Heads from John Star. You won the flip. What was that? Four in a row? Ooh, villain picked up. They want to. They chose Tails and they played Tamiyayo, Inquisitive Student. A really good draw. Can we match their draw with something decent? Both a spell and a land should be okay. Chrome Mox would be the worst. Alright. Heads from Brookie Dam. You lost a flip, Brookie! 
We had such a good streak. And you had to come in and ruin it. And then also, I even summoned the Chrome Mox. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Literally the only bad draw in my deck. Come on. Black, blue, time twister. Whoa, time twister is a not the most subtle way to flip Tamio, but I guess it works. Time twister, I barely knew her. My cavern is on Phyrexian, which is, I guess, not the best now. Can play Witch Enchanter as a land, so... I mean... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Ay, ay, ay. P-hole. No! What a nerd. Two bubbles. Six fast mana vexing bubbles in play. Funny. Alright, bros, we flipping. Oh, we don't flip. Fair. Summon Witch Enchanter. Do we cast Enchanter ever? I do cast it right now. Kill the portable hole. Get the mana crypt. Play this as a land. Summon White Plumer. Seek the best. They flipped yet another Vexing Bubble. This is crazy. Well, if they lose another Mana Crypt flip, then they are just dead to trap. They did lose 4 life. Cycle the bubble. Cycle the bubble. Okay. They have Tundra and a Vexing Bubble. From the Seek the Beast. How is the modern challenge nowadays? Is it fire? 22, perhaps. Not joining it though, I'll play the mocks open. Don't want to double queue. Point is playing some kind of a Lurus deck. Bot showed us their last list, and it's pretty interesting. Something like this. Hotseize, DK, Time Walk, Force of Will, Flame of Honor, Tamio, Questing Druid. I think that this is like actually named in the vintage community as Unlucky Monkey Pile. That does seem like a PO deck. Well, might be an issue now. They also have a spell recast available with Tamiya also. I guess it's probably over. Ay ay ay. Does they see play in vintage? Minimal. Not really nowadays, I think. Very minimal. Can we get a refund? Nope. I do not know what would you want a refund for, but I just reject it.
regardless Alright, well, and what's gonna be the route? I guess under PO to bounce this and then just time walk. Rebuy, time walk, time walk. And then I die. To attack, attack. Maybe time walk is the last card. And then maybe villain does not play any country, I guess. Do I think they play vault key? Holy shit, they reshuffled Lurus. Vault key. We haven't seen neither vault nor key yet. Seems like no saga for colors indeed. Time walk. Time walk, time walk, time walk, time walk. I think unfortunately villain will know better than to cast the crypt. Me watch her knee. So now they have two extra turns stacked and they attack me with questing druid and questing druid. Seems like. Two Tamios. Kinda sucks we couldn't play bubble. Actually true I guess. Would have been nice. They did play portable hall, but I think that was only after the first PO, so not clear if they had it previously or not. Holy shit, missed opportunity to double block to sack out a second from their clock. Um, so, against a deck like this... This is a Null Rod matchup. Not really, I think the bar for being a Null Rod matchup is really high. For this deck, it's really costly to Null Rod. Let's have STP and Wrath of the Skies. Wrath looks kinda good overall. From what I've seen of it. Really unfortunate to have drawn that Chrome Mox on that one turn where any anything that I cast would have probably been pretty impactful. Anything that's not a Chromox cast the Angel, which then probably carries. Not sure, they have a lot of mana, so the Angel actually. Maybe not that great. Chromox sounds kinda bad against portable holes, honestly. And not a combo with Wrath of the Skies. Because I reduced the vital amount of white sources in my deck, but it's good. Can I drag cards? I guess. Oh, if you can't drag cards, you just need to restart modo and then it's gonna work. Do we go for the Null Rod if we cut on Moxes? That's actually pretty viable, perhaps. I think White Plume is better against removal on either my creature or my land or my artifact. 
or P hole on Mana Crypt. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. Let's just go the forge to beat down. Ooh, the soul ring tech. Soul cock ring. Force of will. Pitching time walk. Now I can't lose with time walk exiled. Super secret tech. Yeah, I'm saying that as a super secret tech because most of the lists of <clears throat> initiative don't actually run it, which I think it makes a lot of sense to run it, in my view. Wasteland and Force of Will. Let's name Time Twister. No, I don't know if that's a good name. Do we even play mocks there? I do to have March open. <clears throat> the odds are that I will rough this game are pretty low. I'll just win. But I think it probably didn't matter in either way. What do I cut Chrome mocks entirely and have Null Rod instead? Is that viable? It's kind of too little white. Do I ever trim Babiolas on the draw? Okay, I like that. We're gonna cut two Babiolas for two Null Rod on the draw. Chancellor also better on the draw, I guess, maybe. Sorry if I'm asking some stupid questions. I'm not familiar with Vintage, really. No, that's a good question. It was a consideration, but I thought that the game, it's really hard for the game to go in a way where casting Wrath of the Skies is something that I want to do and casting March seemed more real, so I played the mocks. It probably didn't matter either way. Is Bazaar Giga dead max now? With Hexing Babiola? Wow, Solitude fell off. Solitude always felt kinda terrible in this deck and I'm glad it fell off. I didn't quite figure out that you can play March instead, but I looked at the decks in March was very stock and I was like, yeah, that's nice in an Urza Saga world. Does it play days? Mm, most likely not. Like days is really not played. It's not very good against Mox Sen. Have to mulligan this. Have to keep this. Don't bobble me. Time walk. Brainstorm air. And I fell a good and I went three p p p. Two 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 two. Nice explorer opponent. Bros, it's literally zero mana. It's not explore. It's much better. No, nie, no, spierdalaj, no, ziomek, kurwa. Vexing srobl, nie? Jakie to jest gówno, ta karta. On the draw, too bad, too hard, strip mine too, wow. Do you have a fret? Maybe I'll cycle it to flip them, yeah. That's my hope. Okay, it's probably one of the better draws. Heads will roll, heads will roll on the floor. 
Don't play a wasteland. That's the only way I can win. Please don't play the wasteland. I ask you kindly. Cleric. White plume. Peacekeeper doesn't sound so good. Seems like they... I don't know why they didn't grab Lulu, Lulu, Lulurus. We got severely stopped by the vexing bubble, but the second ancient tomb kind of saved me a little bit. Seek the beast. No! Cavern of Souls probably really nice there. Not really. They can't even force because they... Well, they flipped Questing Druid and Force of Will. Can't. Seek the beast. What a weird combo of creatures. Questing Druid and Tamiyo. Mana Vault, Questing Druid from Exile, Seek the Beast from Seek the Beast, Flipping, STP but no white mana, and a Flooded Strand. Was a land played this turn? No, damn it. STP'd. More like PTSD'd. In that case, I go to the Scry 2. Lost. Well, we lost. Time, time to go to Lost Well. It's typical. White Plume, Witch Enchanter. This is a warlock, not cleric. I don't think the witch enchanter does it for me, but white plume is pretty good. Is Kataki viable in legacy? Not to my knowledge. I think I can march Tommy, I need to march the Druid. Well, now we get to cast free spells. Oh, fine, fine, yeah. Having the crack to draw part makes Vexing Bobble a quite interesting card. Fair. Taking two. Fair. Could just not. I think my odds of victory are slim now. In part because of the minus two life, but only in, in small part. What's the best top deck? The four mana initiative creature into another one? Or Raph? Yeah, Raph is pretty good. I guess playing out the Lotus was pretty bad then. Source to Plosius? I mean, Source to Plosius stinks ass. <clears throat>
I don't have the angel, I cut it. I guess we have to draw that off. Or initiative monster. Or Arkham of Memeria. No, Raf is bad. They have Lurus. No, gdzie kurwa no Rafuje i zabijam Lurusa. That's the point. I killed the Lurus too, right? Well, I think the Raf is just very impressive. I would probably maybe I should play more. The Null Rod looks stupid. I don't think this deck supports Null Rod. But just the Raf seems to match up pretty well against what people do. Maybe there's a white planeswalker I could play. And then I could play Raf. He's a phenomenal Two white, control player. White planeswalker could play instead of. Hmm. Peacekeeper. Play four main. Okay. Not many options. Is there any reason to play the colorless Tron deck versus the red green Eldrazi deck? I don't know. That's odd. Kinda odd, maybe not that odd. But I'll get to take the initiative. Mm, well, not if there is two plows. Oh, but you can't buy back the plow. That's odd. Plow. Anyone getting plowed in the chat? Hmm. P.O. Ink. Well, I guess I had F6, so that gives him an extra life. Oi, oi, oi. Now, when buys blow back. Damios Time walk Yeah Ajan is a one white mana planeswalker two mana even Johnny seems pretty poor without red permanents to shoot people Du, 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 du. Is Tami a cringer based? She's pretty strong. I think pretty based. Is accurate. Just play Bazaar and Red Rutwola. Hmm. Good suggestion. Also in Blue Black Merktide? Question mark. People seem to be split. She looks fine, I don't know. I hadn't, don't have much experience playing her. There's a stops. 
it's a winning in or maybe a losing out seeing how the situation develops my bet is on losing out but we'll see if the tiebreaker will carry So let's look at the plain soccer that we can play at the cost of two white. It's Teo, the shield mage. You have hexproof, created O3 defender, or Teo, Geo geometric tactician. When Teo, geometric tactician, enters, create, a, create an O4 white wall with defender and flying. You and target opponent each draw a card. No homo though. Or choose left or right until your next turn. Each player may attack only the nearest opponent in the last chosen direction. So it doesn't do anything. Literally no abilities. Every time I watch these vintage games, it honestly seems like there are so few decisions to be made and games are determined purely by opening hands. Then I believe you're not watching too closely. You just outed yourself. That's also because I don't play blue decks and I don't play blue mirrors and... Ha <laughs> ha